I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Those of you who fly with the Tyrannus are going to learn about a new product that is going to make you super happy. And those of you who don't fly with the Tyrannus, and so who don't really care about this product, uh, I'm going to tell you about Hall Effect. And what is Hall Effect? And why is a Hall Effect gimbal so good? So hopefully there's something for everybody in here. Let's get into it. The new product that I am super excited to tell you exists is that FreeSky has finally released a drop-in Hall Effect gimbal for the Tyrannus. Now, before we get into what Hall Effect is and why it's good, let's just say that Hall Effect gimbals are awesome and they're the best. And uh, when FreeSky released the Horus and the Horus had Hall Effect gimbals, the first thing many people asked was, will, will they drop in to the Tyrannus? And the answer, I'm not sure about the answer, but I think the answer turned out to be no. They don't drop in. Uh, and even if they did, I don't know if they're sold separately. And people were like, why, Free Sky? Why? I, can, I don't want a Horus. I just want some Hall, some good gimbals for my good old Tyrannus. And I, I kind of felt that way, too. I think everybody knows how I feel about the Horus. Um, and I'm not, I don't hate the gimbals in my Tyrannus. But I will say this. I replaced the gimbals in my Tyrannus after maybe a year of flying. They stopped recentering accurately, and I would look in the receivers tab, and they would kind of be going tick, 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 and I kept having to constantly readjust my sub trims to get them to center. And I thought, well, they've worn out, and so it's time to replace them. And I think we can all agree that a year of flying before the gimbals wear out, that's eh, not great. So what is Hall Effect, and why is it so good? Well, let's talk about how normal non-Hall Effect gimbals work. The way they work is that when you move the gimbal stick, there's a potentiometer inside there. And a potentiometer is an electrical device. Uh, it consists of a strip of, let's say, carbon, maybe it's graphite, it's some electrically conductive material. And there is a brush that scrubs along that strip. And the distance from one end of the strip to wherever the brush is has varying electrical resistance based on, based on how much of that carbon strip the electricity has to go through. The further along the strip the brush is, the more resistance there is. So a potentiometer is a variable resistor. And you can actually approximate this same thing by taking a lead pencil and making a big, thick lead is actually the lead in a lead pencil. It's not lead, it's graphite. You can make a big, thick uh, graphite pencil lead line on a piece of paper and you can measure the resistance with your multimeter and you can see that as you move along the strip the resistance goes up and up and up while well, you're approximating a potentiometer. Here's the problem with a potentiometer. One problem is that as that brush moves back and forth eventually it wears out the strip and the strip starts getting well you can get uh, it doesn't measure the resistance accurately or the resistance has skips and stutters in it and the other problem for something like uh, a gimbal is that the physical rubbing of the brush on the strip can produce roughness in the stick movement. So you could have this awesome gimbal with ball bearings and whatnot and this super smooth gimbal, but then the, car the brush, the potentiometer itself, creates a roughness and a bad feeling in the stick movement. At least some people say that's the case. Other people are like, oh, I don't know, dude, I don't feel it. That's a topic for another day. So potentiometer-based gimbals, they, 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 they're not as smooth and they wear out faster. And I've experienced the latter one for myself. So then what is Hall Effect and why is it good? The way a Hall Effect sensor works is a Hall Effect sensor measures magnetic field strength. So the more magnetic field strength uh, it, there is near the sensor, the higher the voltage the sensor outputs. So if you imagine having a Hall Effect sensor, whatever that would look like, okay, and you imagine having a magnet, as the magnet gets closer and closer to the Hall Effect sensor, the voltage that the sensor outputs goes up and up. And you can easily see how that could be used to detect position, the position of something like, say, a, a, a gimbal stick on a transmitter. So the way it works in, in essence is that the gimbal, uh, the stick itself has a magnet on the bottom where the brush would be on a potentiometer. And as you move the stick back and forth, the magnet goes back and forth past, it gets closer and further from the Hall Effect sensor. And so therefore we can measure the stick position, but here's the key. There's no physical interface there. There's no brush scrubbing along a carbon strip, okay? So number one, there's nothing to wear out. 
a Hall Effect gimbal should last way longer than a potentiometer-based gimbal. Uh, the, eventually, the bearings will wear out, but if you think about what we're doing with gimbals, we're not really stressing the bearings very much. They should last a really long time. And the other thing is that the, the gimbal can be absolutely as smooth as the bearings let it be because there's no physical interface in the sensor. It's not, it never touches. It never has to touch. It just moves through space. And magnetic magnets, how do they work, right? The magnetic flux field energy uh, is how you sense the position. Okay, so there you go. If you have a Tyrannus, you pro I, yes, 20 bucks for one of these gimbals. Go spend 40 bucks right now and upgrade your Tyrannus with these. At the very least, your gimbals will now last way longer than they would have. And at the best, you'll feel like they, they, they're smoother and whatever, more precise. Uh, and if you're worried about changing out your gimbals, I have a video on how to change out your gimbals. Now, I'm not putting in these exact gimbals, but the process surely is the same. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.